Ooh. Well, potential, uh, potential advantage in the future, I whisper quietly to my sword. Um, it might be fun to let loot whatever they have in there and let it run amok. And use it as a distraction to set free our hockey I can hey, sleep uh... in the Or, I would also... What the heck? What? Or, I heard some banging in the background. Thought Sorry. you were doing sound effects. Nope, nope. that, that was me. <laughs> so speaking of which, I do want to... Oh, actually I'll wait a bit. Wait, are you, do you guys get closer to the boarded up area? I did, uh, well hang on, I wanted to say something. Either we let loose this thing, or we create some sort of descent between the pirates where they start to not trust each other and fight amongst themselves. Hmm, we could do that. That would take a bit of time and I feel kind of bad leaving the rest of the party out of all this fun. I feel, like we should, I feel like we should invite everyone else in. Um, what kind of discord do you think we could cause before we leave? Perhaps- Oh, uh, should we switch over to there? I thought Skype was going to be fine, but... You're fine so far. Yep. Uh... I was making a joke, damn it. Oh, oh. Never mind. The discord, haha. Uh -huh. Yes, ha. So, perhaps, uh, we could poison their food, we could cut some of the strings for the crossbows, um, Jeremy, I'll send I you a message. Do... Find me their water supply. <laughs> I need to, uh, like, uh, we'll, we'll discuss it later. Hmm. <laughs> Let's, see. Let's see. Definitely, I'm thinking we could set free whatever that is they have in the cage. And because our hostages are in a cage, they might be safe from whatever it is for the time being, and the creature might be more inclined to go after the things it has easier access to, meaning the, uh, the pirates. If we found out what it was, I could create an illusion of it, or I could have an illusion in front of whatever it is, leading it towards the pirates. Wait, 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 wait. You can create illusions? I can. Can you create, um... Convincing illusions of perhaps, say, people. Yes. Plan is, Plan is formulating. Plan is formulating. <laughs> <laughs> it was then that the Grinch got an idea. An awful idea. An awful idea. <laughs> I, um, it is one of my, uh, your talents to be able to perfectly imitate the voice and sound of anything I hear. Fascinating. Yes, I can also throw my voice convincingly. Do we know by any chance what the, let us see if we can find by any chance who the commanding officer is? Well, there seems to be several depending on which ship it is. Well, we should probably match the outfits of these guards. Hey, uh, are mm -hmm. Yes. Jeremy? Yes? Make another listen check. 27. 20. Okay, you hear this clearly, uh, whisper, but, well, it takes you a double listen, but <laughs> now that you're a little closer to the barricade, you, every time you hear the bang, Bang! Bang! You hear another sound. A wild scream. It sounds guttural, feral, warped. But most strikingly of all, it sounds disturbingly human. Suddenly you hear noise behind you. A clatter of movement and attention. Something has caught has roused the pirates and they are all standing up what do you do all right uh just looking around can i see who's in charge of the of the pirates right now who's who's barking orders who actually um who actually sounds like they're uh they're in charge indeed you do but it's not any of the pirates that have that are around instead 
the pirates all coming to attention because of the arrival of someone new. And the and the three of you outside saw this too. A fourth ship pulled in. A man wearing fancier robes than the other ones and a hood over his head walked <clears throat> along the jetty dragging three three golden lion soldiers by chains along their neck in to the camp and the pirates chorus out oh hail king mir oh hmm <laughs> what do you do? Okay, um, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that guy might be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think we're in a very bad position right now. Can I phase through anything? Walls? I'm pretty sure, yes, you can. Would you be any... Would you, by any chance, be able to head back to the party and inform of them of the intel we've just gathered? I was thinking more along the lines of, would you like me to go past that wall and see what the heck they're barricading up? Oh, um, yes, uh, please do. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> uh, quickly, she flits <laughs> out of the sword in a small whiff of white and through the barricade looking down to see what on earth is causing all that racket. Okay. Uh, first of all, give me one second. Uh, Ari? Mm -hmm. So, say again exactly what you're doing. I want to make sure that I'm not misunderstanding this. You have gone through the barricade to the other side where you see to see what the creature is? Yes. Roll a 2d6, please. Okay. Uh-oh. Eight. You take that much damage. <clears throat> a wave of pain suddenly washes over you. You feel your corpus flicker as this just energy surges through you. The thing you're actually, you feel as impossible as it seems like your eyes are watering even though, well, they can't do that anymore as the creature turns its gaze upon you. It's dark in the cave so you can't quite make up what it is, but you see this long, thick, rubbery shape. Faces and hands merged and melded together, screaming, clawing, reaching out to you. That's all she's able to really perceive, both through the haze of, through the haze of pain, and the um, and the darkness that is only pierced by a few slivers of light through the uh, through some holes in the barricade. But there is something else. Make a wisdom check. Everyone, or just her? Just her. I got a 16 plus a 7, so 23. Oh. Alright, hold I, I pull, I, I pull out a... It's been okay, three weeks, but you won't forget, but you still haven't forgotten it. And while it is not quite as strong as it was that night, you still remember that feeling. The feeling of the thing that was watching you all when the spire broke. You're getting a weaker version of that exact same energy coming from whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, I von Moose, but out of the top of the cave, not back through the barricade. There is a shut... The pirates, there is a loud rumble of some, and dust falls, and it feels like something just struck the roof of the cave. Um, Whisper, get, uh, deciding to just, what the hell with it, 
uh, decides to follow through with part of his plan and immediately imitates one of the other pirates he uh, he overheard in the camp, and he throws the voice uh, just randomly through the mist. The creature's escaping! Sudden, yeah, considering that happened right as you heard the bang, there is a sudden flurry of movement. Pirates quickly dash, quickly dash to get as far away from the entrance as possible, but they also turn to keep their eyes on it. So, they're confused and scattered by the fogs until you hear a barking order. Stand your ground! Alright, whisper. Go, wi- cowards here. Wh- whisper. Sorry. One second, Jeremy, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, what you might have been attempting at may have backfired because instead of all being scattered around everywhere, instead, all the pirates are now standing and they are looking firmly in the direction of the barricade, but also, because of the number of them, looking firmly in the direction of where the cages are and where you are still hidden. They haven't spotted you, but it's going to be a lot harder now to get the hostages out without you, without them, well, seeing you now that they're all pointing their spears in that general direction. What do you do? Actually, first of all, uh, gentlemen on the outside, uh, what do you do? Is there anything you'd like to do? Are you still, all three of you, still hanging tight? Uh, Kuhn is just sit, is sitting crisscross, just waiting for the set, ju- just waiting for them to come back. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. I'm just um, at the moment because the fog would effectively add concealment to us, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. And also, I will say this: the minute that there was that commotion, the guards of the watchtower all turned to face away from where the three of you are. The uh, guards patrolling the walls have jumped down, even the guards outside the gate, they've all basically turned and they seem to be focusing on something coming from within the camp instead of what's going on outside of the walls. Okay, Clark, in that case, quickly tap his pencil on our shoulder. Hey! Now's our chance. Now's our chance for what? Get to sing Kumbaya, what start. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I've got something I'd like, I, I thought of something I'd like to do. We'll get to you in a second, but first, Ari, what is Vel doing now that she has gotten out of the cave? Uh, she's above the cave. Can she see over the camp? Yes, yes, she can. She's got a bird's eye view. Um, let's, oh jeez. And yeah, so you've basically got an army of hundreds, so the... The camp is now effectively divided in half. Well, two thirds, actually, you could say. Two thirds of the camp are now filled with, of basically, the hundreds of pirates who are all looking directly at the last third of the camp, which is where the barricade, the cages with the hostages in it, and Kun's hiding place are. And uh, uh, whispers. Uh, whispers. Yes. My apologies. Is it still cloudy and stormy up above? Indeed, it is. I'm thinking. All right. Um, what's around the cage? What's around the the cage? Cages? Yeah. Uh, what's the cage? What is specifically? Is anything specifically you're looking for? Well, I'm seeing whether or not the the guards are near the cages. Oh what, no, where? no no no! They backed up to join the rest of the main group. All right. I've I've started picking the locks from like my hiding spot. Uh, if you go to if you go from wait. Where they're looking, if you go to pick the hiding spot now, it's almost certain that they will see you. Oh, then I don't you... have to, I don't have to leave my hiding spot. Oh yes, you've got the remote picking. Indeed. Yep. So yes, <laughs> you can do exactly that. So did like the thing hurt her? Like like attack her or like did she just the like the very the very presence of it caused her damage. Like just Ooh. being near just being near it caused like magic. Yeah, it, it had a, like an aura of magical energy that disrupted her uh, 
Existence. Oh, existence, yes, that's a good idea. Okay, so you're able to pick the locks without the noticing. Jeremy, good job. Alright. Yay! Now, Vel, what did you say you wanted to do? Actually, you say I thought that there was my weakness thingy in the barricade, so that's uh, so the thing that I was gonna do just got completely shot. So, um, instead, I am going to not dive back through the barricade into the cave part. I'm just gonna go back to the sword and tell him and tell him exactly what's behind and tell him what's behind there. At least what I can see. Yep. All right. Okay. Um, you weren't there, but when we stopped that archer fellow, a gigantic creature came out of the forest, and it exuded magical energy to the point where it caused pain. Something like that is behind there, and they have every right to be fearful of it. Well, then we probably shouldn't let it out until we have the hostages free. Um, could you perhaps create an illusion of the hostages running out of their cages in mass and shrieking, screaming out, uh, and then perhaps doubling over and then dying or something like that? I could possibly... Let me see. Um... I would like to create an illusion where they are holding weapons, but they are bloodied, and they one by one fall to their deaths at the feet of the pirates. Uh, yes. You can, yes, you can do that. There we go. Like, I want it to look like they picked up the weapons that were in that hole, but whatever it was was too strong for them, and they're bleeding out and dying. Uh, I will, I, now I will say, I will say this, the, um, because of the way, because of the way that the cave is organized, you won't be able to quite do that, but you could make an illusion, you won't be able to quite do that, but you could make an illusion of the hostages breaking out their cages, making a run at the pirates, the pirate then, you know, getting cut down, which would then be cover for the real hostages to get out. No, we're trying to make it look like they were dying because of the creature. There'd be no, uh, there'd be no way for that to work unless you're able to get an illusion of the creature itself escaping. Okay, then I'll do the hostages getting away. Yeah, just trying to give you give you something that's close enough to what you were originally trying to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so yep, uh, I believe they all need, the pirates all need to roll a. Gonna check what kind of roll that is. Whisper, get them out. All right. So um, I, I basically I, I rush over and uh, pop over. Is like, good afternoon, fellows. This is your escape. Come this way. <laughs> All right, I begin raising the wind level of the uh, local area, um, and then pull out a piece of parchment and begin scribbling a quick note, uh, scribbling a quick note, uh, before letting it blow away in the wind towards my party's, in my party's direction. Oh, oh, what are we gonna say? Oh, I just told them, come in now, we need you. All right. So the note, I'm guessing, like the note, like k- k- kind of blows right into like maybe Klaus's face, just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before you do that, I'm rolling to see if they resist you. If they resist your illusion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So DC twenty, you said. Yes. Okay. The rank and sorry. The rank and file pirates don't notice anything, but you see the eyes of Mia narrow. 
It's a trick. And his eyes immediately go to the cage. Whisper, make that stealth check. 